Three, two, one. Good afternoon. I'm John H. This is Fitness Edge Media. To my left is James Whalen. Hi, James. How are you? Good. This Doing guy good. is a G and G Rev <laughs> ambassador. I have right here from Adam Buckholtz the announcement that he's on the team now. This yes. is like freshly minted G and G Rev ambassador. As of this week, yes. Let's let's uh, let's plug the whole thing. This is like NASCAR because you got Progenics on the top here, right? You got Project Lean Nation on the sleeve, and you've got it right over here on the plate. What, what is on this plate today? We got some sweet potatoes, some chicken. We got a, actually a burger on here, yeah. and then some kale. Because you can't have chicken without a burger. No, you need every type of protein you can get. That's games. Oh, or am yeah. I talking about bodybuilding? And that? <laughs> Are CrossFitters no, concerned with games? I just eat whatever I can eat. Yeah, you're a pretty big dude. I mean, you games trying. are pretty uh, impressive. Right? Put on some weight in the last couple of years. So. Now, is that by? I mean, are you trying to gain weight, or does that come as a byproduct of um, lifting all this heavy shit? When I came into CrossFit, I was only about a buck fifty. I played soccer my whole life, so I was trying to stay lean. But um, yeah, when I came in, I, I definitely needed to gain some weight to try to compete with some of the bigger dudes that weighed me. So right now, I'm floating around like 169, 170. Okay. So put on about 20 pounds. And, and I'm guessing none of that two, was fat. Two and a half years. Maybe a little, a little bit. Like I'm a little chubby, but it's all right. We got most of the muscles. That's right. You, so. you're, you're built to perform now. Yes. You're not trying yeah. to win any bodybuilding. No, so. I'm not a bodybuilder. I hit some buys and tries sometimes, but do you? A little beach muscle? Little, yeah, beach season, right? You got to. Every Thursday, beach season. I think as much as anyone that I've watched on social media, we featured you in our um, Fitness Edge magazine yes. too. Yes. You know, just watching you, you are the embodiment. I think G&G Rev's done a good job here of picking a guy who, who like you said, you were a smaller guy, you're tenacious, yeah. and you just stay after it. I just see your work ethic and just putting in the work in the gym. You're over at Flower City yes. CrossFit. Yeah. Um, you know, talk about that. What drives you? Why do you want to be good at this? And, and you know, what, what are you doing to accomplish that? Um, well, I came from a pretty competitive soccer background. Uh, I came, all well, my buddies from home, we, we won our state championship back in 2011. So I've always been super competitive, but coming here was completely new. I had to learn how to Olympic lift. I had to learn how to do pull-ups, really. I honestly didn't really have pull-ups too well either. So I have a good community of Flower City and CrossFit Webster and have a bunch of guys. Um, when I started there, I was the run of the pack. Started from the bottom. Now I've made my way up. I'm a coach there now as well. And yeah. it's just nice seeing the progress over the last three years and, and our community grow. And you know, some people come and go because of work opportunities, but it's been a great experience. Now you, you use the word runt of the pack. You know, sometimes when you're the smaller guy or <laughs> yeah. the weaker guy, it gives you a little chip on your it shoulder. Does. It does. I mean, you're the nicest guy going. I mean, do you just kind of <laughs> hide that chip on your shoulder until the competition starts? Uh, you step I, over I, the line and turn into a beast? What, what's your secret? I guess so. I th I've always been a nice competitor. I've had coaches before that have told me, you know, flip the switch when you step on the field. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Um, really, I just like having fun. I just, I, competing is very fun. Sometimes you don't do as well as you'd like and it's, you get down, but it's it's always fun. The more fun I have, the better I perform. So. Personally speaking for everyone out there on Fitness Edge Media Land, um, if anyone watches your videos, I like when you accomplish a goal like a PR. Yes. You, yeah. you are a celebrator. Oh yeah, like, I, yeah like, you know, I like celebrating for sure. There's yeah, some I raw mean, emotion there. Hell yeah, yeah. So people should follow you. you give us your, uh, your I believe James my Whalen Yeah, I believe my uh, Instagram handle is James under, underscore Whalen, W-H-E-L-A-N, and uh, I'm not on Twitter. I am on Twitter, but it's not active. So. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, and then on Facebook as well. Okay, cool. People should follow you because you are, uh, like I said, the embodiment of what this sport is about. Just Thank kind you. of starting where you're at, making a goal, and just digging <laughs> for all your work yeah. to get it. Hell yeah. It's awesome. Thanks for stopping right. by today. Thank you. Good luck.